Welcome everybody, this is Gold Leader, I'm here with Patronus, and we are going to be playing Auto Rim tonight. Yeah, this is uh, one of the requests that we've had, actually quite a few come in, so we thought we would try it tonight. I apologize, the, the setup isn't ideal for streaming, just because there's so much stuff on the table, so it's going to be a little hard to see, but we'll be able to talk you through things as, as needed. <clears throat> Yeah, unfortunately, I set, when I set all this up, I was like, oh, wow, this game actually takes up a lot of space. It really does. <laughs> uh, so it might be difficult yeah. to um, see all the components, but um, if you need to see, like, certain cards and things like that, we can actually um, we can actually zoom in, put the cards, mm -hmm. so you can see them as we uh, talk through and play the game. So yeah. I'm playing Boba Fett because, well, Boba Fett it's awesome. <laughs> So Boa Fett, um, he has two abilities. His first ability is to secretly look at a contact on your planet. And then he has a personal goal. Um, gain rewards from two bounties to gain one fame and flip this card over. Yep. So basically I got to get um, rewards from two different bounty cards before I can flip to the other Boa Fett side. Yep. <clears throat> So, Boba's going to be all about doing bounties. Uh, his uh, his two uh, skills are stealth and tactics. Yeah, and then I'm going to play Lando. So Lando, as you can imagine, is all about smuggling illegal cargo. <laughs> so he gets to re-roll one die anytime he rolls dice, which is probably going to be nice for me because I'm terrible at It's a great dice. ability, too. Yeah, and he has three starting skills, influence, knowledge, and piloting. And then once I complete my goal of delivering two pieces of illegal cargo, I flip over to the other side. So if you um, haven't played um, Outer Rim before, the whole purpose of the game is you take on the role of either a bounty hunter, a smuggler, a scoundrel, a uh, pirate, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Basically, you're rogues and scoundrels types characters, and the purpose is to gain fame. Whoever gets the most fame, um, or gets to a certain threshold of fame... You can play shorter games up to 10 threshold, mm -hmm. longer games up to 12. Yep. And honestly, it's really up 10 to 10 is you. the base, but yeah, it allows yeah. you to do whatever you, you want. If you wanted to play a really short game, like under an hour, you could go to 6 or 7. Yeah, exactly. It, you can do it. It doesn't really want. matter. Um, and <laughs> they have these really nice um, cards that kind of just help you out with the game. So it tells you all the different ways you can game fame. Yep. Usually, Which is your win condition. Yeah, usually it's. Um, what, bounties? Bounties, delivering goods, mm -hmm. doing a job. Those yeah. are the use, usually the ways. Sometimes Personal goal you can get or lucky. Ship goal. Yeah, sometimes you can get lucky with a card here that if you do something, you'll gain a fame. But mm -hmm. the most consistent ways are doing bounties, doing jobs, or delivering cargo. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> as you saw in our starting characters, certain characters are more sk are skilled, and they're like keywords, mm -hmm. essentially. So. Um, the keywords don't actually mean anything different. It just means that when you're rolling dice, um, your success rate is based on how skilled you are. Correct. So if you're not skilled, you will only succeed on a critical. Yeah. If you're Which is a one out of eight. Correct. Mm -hmm. And if you are skilled, you succeed on a hit or a critical. Mm -hmm. And then if you're very skilled you would succeed on any paint, a hit, a critical, or a focus result. Yeah, if you're familiar with X-Wing by Fantasy Flight Games, it's the same dice, mm -hmm. <laughs> just gold, uh, which actually is not terrible because it allows us to go grab our extra X-Wing dice and put them in our outer rim, rim board game so we never have to share dice. <laughs> yeah, we have tons of, tons of X-Wing dice laying around the house. So, um, yeah. The other side of that card is just the player sequence saying, we won't go through this in detail right now. You'll see as we play the game how that all works out. And we'll show you some of the little pieces. But basically, I mean, if go. you just have this card, it's pretty easy to figure yeah. out how to play this game. So, For sure. Um, <clears throat> the only other thing that we... So it's this This is our um, fame track, and we'll just kind of say aloud where we're at when we go up and down. The other component of our board is our affiliation track i suppose reputation. is the best way reputation check mm -hmm. 
excuse me. So there's four different um, factions. Correct. Thank yeah, you. So factions. You've, yeah, you've got hot cartel. You have the syndicate. Cartel. You have yeah. the um, Imperials and the Rebels. And there's these little tokens that just kind of go on a slider. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you're positive... It's you, all the way at the it's top. It's all the way at the top. If you're neutral, it's in the middle. Yep. If you're negative, it's, it's, it's all, all the way at the bottom. On the, on the bottom. And that comes into play with these, these tokens at the edges of the board here. They represent... Patrol ships. Yes, patrol ships <clears throat> that wander through space. And if you encounter a patrol ship, if you're a positive with that faction you can just ignore them completely because mm -hmm. they're not going to stop you if you're neutral or negative with that faction they will stop you and then if you're negative they're going to engage with you correct so mm -hmm. you'll kind of see as we go how how all this yeah. works out <clears throat> the board itself is modular in that there is a in a, a recommended setup for you know your first game but otherwise it's just assemble these pieces in a random order and that changes up the game a little bit because it's just the distance between different types of planets yeah so this is completely random kessels over here um and yep. then uh and each planet has two different contacts they there are tiers of contacts the white contacts are the, the easy ones yep. the green contacts are the middle of the road contacts and the yellow contacts are the difficult contacts the reason why you would go after these is one because sometimes you can recruit them to your team but two that's how you search for bounties yeah so contacts represent um people in the galaxy yep and contacts can be they can be a couple different things they could be crew members like andrew was saying that you can actually have on your ship they will often provide you with abilities um, or they can be bounties so like boba fett is going to be going from planet to planet looking for his, his bounty. bounty and mm -hmm. his starting bounty um is ponda baba mm -hmm. so he's looking for ponda baba um so i don't know where he's at all i know is that on this card Pona Baba is a white contact. Yep. So I want to be making sure that I'm using Boba Fett's ability every planet I'm on to try and look yep. for that. And it just gives you a little bit of a cue as to, based on the color of the contact, you have an idea of what planets to go look for because they either have white or green or yellow corresponding to yep. each token. And these are all just cards that you can you can purchase during the market phase. We'll go through that. Yep. And these are cards that are essentially... Planetary it, encounters. They're encounters uh, based on a planet or space or mm -hmm. castle or whichever. Yep. And you can see also as you're kind of navigating space, each of these cards... So they have the two planets on them for the two planets on the corresponding piece of the board. And it'll tell you what you're likely to get at each of those planets. Yeah, hint... There's a little hint. It's not 100% by mm -mm. any stretch of the means, but the deck is stacked in favor of these in uh, and Katanica, for example. The deck is favored in terms of gambling and obtaining crew members, right. and in ter at or Mantel it's in favor of gear and earning credits. So if there's if you're just kind of wandering the board, sometimes it's good to look at what you can find more likely on each of the planets, so that way you can decide where you're going to navigate okay so um we're playing a two-player game yep. so the first player starts with four thousand credits do you want to go first or second doesn't matter pick okay go first okay so i'll get six thousand There are also, these are our ships here. There are two starting ships. There's the G1A Starfighter and then the G9 Rigger. The difference is that the G9 Rigger is a little bit faster and the G1 is a little bit stronger for fighting and a little bit healthier, has a little bit more hull. Yeah, and my, my character is going to be um, bounty hunting, so there's a good chance that I might have to do some ship-to-ship -ship combat. Mm -hmm. So I, I chose to go with, the uh, G1A. Yep, and because I'm likely going to be wandering around the galaxy looking for people, looking for cargo and things like that, having a little bit more speed is helpful. So just so you guys see what the stats are on the ships, like what the what they look like. So it's speed, attack value in space, and then hull. Each ship also has a well, not the starting ones, but um, every other ship has a ship goal similar to how all the characters have personal goals. 
Yeah, we're not going to explain. Let's not explain the whole game. We'll yep. just explain it as we go. So, you're the first player. Yeah. So, uh, you start with the planning step. Mm -hmm. First thing you can do is move your ship up to his ship's speed, mm -hmm. or you can gain 2,000 credits. And stay where I'm at. And stay where you're at, or recover all damage. Yeah, and we should flip all of these, too. Sure. Okay. Okay, so that's what's on top of each one. So what would you like to do first? So... Move, move gain credits... I will just stay where I'm at and gain 2,000 credits. Okay. So then we go to the action step. Um, if you had any cargo or bounties, you could deliver them, which we don't. Uh, market action. So since she's on a planet, she's on no huddle with Lando, she can discard the top of any one of these decks. Mm -hmm. She could also buy the top card of any one of these decks. Yep. Exactly. And actually, we forgot one thing. we got to activate the patrol, oh, sure. the level one patrol for each faction. And okay. they just go... On the first nav point in front of them. On the same one? No. Those aren't connected. Wherever it's connected, you have the rebel one in the wrong spot. You have the rebel one in the wrong spot. Rebel has to go just on the ring. So it would go here? Mm-hmm. It would actually go on the planet. Yeah, it's on the first point that okay. it can right. that it can be on its on its trajectory. Okay, and then I am going to choose to bottom in the cargo, reveal a new card, and look at that illegal goods. So I'm going to purchase these illegal goods. And since uh, for two thousand credits is the cost, and that's up in this top corner here, and then these have to go. Oh, do I only have one cargo slot? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm not doing this then. Why would you have? Because that's my starting goal, uh. is this. So I guess I'm not. Okay, so this. put it back. Take your money. So, uh, didn't notice that. So, your ships have a certain number of slots for each type of thing. I didn't realize that I only have one cargo slot. So, instead, I will I'll buy a pistol. That's fine. Blaster pistol? Yeah, sometimes you never know when you're going to need to fight somebody. Mm-hmm. So that goes, I'm going to purchase that again for 3,000 credits. It gives my hero plus one attack in personal combat. And it goes into a gear slot, and I have two gear slots. Okay. And when you buy a card, you reveal the top one. Mm -hmm. And then there's these um, down here you'll see next to the wrench. You'll see a picture of one of the icons for one of the different patrols. And then a number. So this one's the rebel icon, mm -hmm. and it needs to move three spaces towards closer me. towards Lando. So we're here. So it looks like one, two, three. Yep. And that happens every time a card is purchased from the deck. Correct. Not if it's buried. Yep. Not if it's just simply revealed. From okay. The so you buried a card. You purchased a card. Yep. So, so that's my market action. Yep. The last thing you can do in that action phase is trade cards with players in your space, but Ron's not in my space, so we're going to move on to the last last step of the turn, which is the encounter step. And I can choose to either fight a patrol that I have negative reputation with that's in my square. That's not negotiable. You have to do that if you have a, ne a patrol with negative that you have a negative reputation with. Then I can choose to resolve an encounter card, which is these cards for each of the planets. Or I can choose to resolve a contact token, which is, again, one of these contacts, and we just flip it up and resolve it. So I'm on Nalhada, which is credits and bounties more often than not. So I'll take a Nalhada card. And the way these cards, are, cards work, there's... The two planets again, still, 
and you only read the text for your corresponding planet. So I'm only going to read this bottom part here, but it's actually convenient that they have some cards have this gray text box with the secret that's upside down. And that's just something secret that you have to keep for your play area and trigger it whenever it happens. So on Nalhada, you recognize a face on a wanted poster. If you have no crew, you may secretly look at a contact token on this planet. You may discard one of your crew to gain 4,000 credits. All right, so I don't have any crew, but I can secretly look at one of these. Let's look at the white one. Okay. And then I'm done with that encounter card. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom of its pile. And okay. that's it. All right, so it's my turn. So first thing I could do is I'm probably just going to I'm probably going to move cuz I'm looking for a bounty a white contact. So I think I'm going to just take a move action and go over to Lethal. And then during the action step, I can use um, Boba Fett has an action on his card allows me to look at uh, one contact. So I'm going to look at this white one. And what do you know? It's one that I like. Then I can deliver cargoes of bounties, which I don't have. Um, we're going to go to market action. I can purchase something. Or I can take a new bounty. Ooh, we got here. 8,000 credits. I definitely don't have 8,000. I won't be purchasing that. Did you move? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to bury this card. It seems quite good, but it's a lot of money. Leave it face up so we know when to shuffle. Mm hmm Okay. I've got armor. That's also 8,000. And do I want to buy... I could take another bounty. You could. This is free. So, well, I'll take the bounty on Greedo. So now I've got two jobs. Two bounties. Two bounties. And this one is another bounty. And this one's going to require me to move the rebels four towards me. So they're here. So one... To and they will stop on you if they can. Yep, and they're they stopping won't. right on me. Oh. Okay, and then um, I'll put this back. Now, I'm not negative with the rebels, so we're going to go to the encounter step, and there's a patrol in my space, but I'm not negative, so I don't have to fight them. You don't have to. You can choose to. Mm -hmm. If you do fight a patrol, you become you lose one rank reputation. of reputation. Yep. But there are rewards on here. So like if mm -hmm. I fought this, I'd get eight thousand, five thousand if I beat them. Yep. So you guys. The only difference see is uh, this is a ship combat. Like. This is ship combat, not yeah. personal combat. So yeah. I wouldn't use Boba Fett stats. I would use my ship, ship stats. stats. But I don't want to fight here because what I want to do is. Oh, go figure. Look at that Pwned Baba right there. All right. So, um, so I'm going to... you guys can kind of see what one of these tokens looks like. So it has the name of the contact, obviously, and then a number. That number corresponds to one of these cards that you have to reveal in order to trigger the effect. So he's card number 20. Yep. All right. And you can... So it says, he doesn't like you, but a few credits may change his mind. Test strength. If you fail, your character suffers two damage. Oh, actually, so I'm reading you this card, right? But you probably don't actually need so to do it. <laughs> if, if you were just interacting with this contact because you wanted to gain him as a crew, you would do the top of that card. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually just trying to capture him oh, or, or eliminate him as a bounty. Yep, that's true. So if... If you don't have a bounty, this is what you, you read this card and, and you, you can interact with it. him. Yes. Yep. But I'm just trying to fight him. That's right. So on my bounty card, you'll see that Ponda Baba has um, two guns. Two guns. Yep. So we just roll dice. Yep. And we roll at the same time. And whoever has more hits um, wins. Yep. So Boba Fett has three. So I'm going to put three dice in here. 
you have to just roll separately. So. Yep. So. Okay. So one critical. critical so which counts as two damage. Correct. And then Ponda Baba. One. One hit. Okay. So Boba Fett will suffer a damage for taking that hit. So mm-hmm. I'm going to put it on his character. And I rolled more damage than him, so Mm -hmm. I could take his token. Yep. And I have two options. I can either eliminate him, just disintegrate. Yep. Merc him. Yep. And if I eliminate him, gain 5,000 credit and one fame. Deliver him to Tokadana to gain 10,000 credit. So I get twice as much credits if I keep him alive, captured. Where is Tokadana? It's right there. Hmm. It's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away. And my ship only moves five, so it would take me two turns. Mm-hmm. So I think we're just going to eliminate Okay. the cold-hearted Boba Fett. So okay. you can have that card back. So the reward is 5,000 5, credits and one fame. Mm-hmm. So Ron now has two fame. All right, so I'm going to add 5,000 credits here. And I'm going to go up one fan. Mm-hmm. And that was the encounter step. So I'm done. Yep. All right. And then my, my turn. So I'm going to choose to move up to my ship speed, which is six. So one, two, three, four, five... Hang out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. So I will just come and join Ron at Lothal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And so I moved. All right. Now, one thing I wanted to say is my personal my personal goal on Boba Fett was to gain a reward from up to two bounties. Ah. So that's what these, if you wonder what these yellow tokens are, it's just a marker. So I'm going to put one on here since I completed my first bounty. And when I get two, I can flip Boba over to his yep. other side. Alright, so go it. ahead. Okay, so I came to Lothal, mm-hmm. and then I do my action step. I would deliver cargo and bounties. Don't have any, so now I can do a market action. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... Let's see. Let's look at this job. Knowledge, influence, tactic, stealth tech. Hmm, doesn't hurt. So I'm going to choose to purchase this job card. Something to notice with these jobs is you can see under the subheading here, it tells you different keywords. These are keywords that are needed during this job. Yeah, it's the skills that you that are going to, they're probably going to be needed to pass. They will 100% be needed. Yeah. The italicized ones which this one doesn't have any italicized ones let's see if this one yeah so like the the one i'm flipping you can see this one knowledge is italicized tactics is italicized that means you are required to use those skills and pass in order to complete the mission or complete the job yeah so if you don't pass those you're gonna fail that you're gonna fail so you want to purchase or pick up jobs and bounties that correspond with your skills. So this one doesn't have anything italicized, so that means nothing is required. It just means it's going to be easier to complete the job if you have one of those. So I'm just going to take this job for free. Shove this under here. Okay. And then what you revealed is Syndicate 3. Yep. No, it's Huts. Huts. Huts move 3. So 1, 2, 3. That's close. That's faster. Okay. And there are just, there's literally just hyperspace lanes basically between all these planets, and every little yellow dot is a nav point. point. And that each one of those points, either a nav point or a planet, counts as one space. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay, right, so, so I did my marking encounter. phase and then encounter. So I'm just going to take a card. If you have positive imperial reputation, I do not, so I'm not going to resolve that part. If you have neutral or negative imperial reputation, which I do, a military parade is being held in Tarkintown. You may gain one imperial imperial reputation. Nice. I will do that. 
So put this on the bottom. And I'm done. Okay. So I am I'm gonna stay put. I'm gonna get two thousand credits. Um actually yeah, two thousand credits. One, two. Then I am going to use an action and go to the market phase, use an action. I'm gonna look at this contact. Okay. And then I'm going to look at stuff to buy. So I've got five, 10, I have 13K. Mm -hmm. So, uh, laminate armor gives me two health. During ground combat, if you have strength, which I don't, so I don't really want this card. So I'm gonna put this one on bottom, reveal a new one. Ah, jetpack. Nice. I think we'll take a jetpack. Bova's jetpack. 5,000. You want to throw that on the screen so people can see what it does? Yeah. It's probably pretty hard to read because of the uh, there's like a really bright white. Um, during ground combat, I can cancel one of my opponent's uh, success. One of my opponent's hits. If you have tactics, you may cancel a critical instead. And Boba Fett does have tactics. Nice. So it's pretty good. So helps mitigate damage. Well, also, not only just helps mitigate, but it helps you win the combat. Right, that's Because true. if you have more successes than your opponent, more hits, that's true. then you win the combat. Yep. So Okay, so reveal a new one of these. And the rebels are going to move three. So they're not going to move because they're already in your space. Yep. So I just spent 5k on that. And I will... There's an encounter option here. So I am on... What planet are we on here? Lothal. Lothal. What does Lothal give me? Fight rebel players and imperial rewards. Interesting. Um, sure. Let's do that. Lothal. What do you know of the rebel alliance? The officer asks you. While well, his stormtroopers stand by at the ready. Choose a player. That player gains one rebel reputation. And their character suffers two damage. Hmm. You know what? I will I will choose myself. I will okay. gain the reputation, and I will suffer that two damage. All right. You got it. Put that on the bottom, face up. Yep. Perfect. All right. And the then... reason we I keep saying face up, we put all the cards face up at the bottom of the piles, so that way we know when we need to reshuffle the decks. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, I'm done. I am going to move to the Ring of Kufrin, which is all the way at the end over there, and it is six spaces away. Wow. One, One two, two, three, three four, five, six. six. All right, are you delivering goods? Is that why I you I am there? delivering goods. So that's the first thing in the action step is delivering any cargo and bounties. I have, this was my starting thing here. So if I deliver these to the Ring of Kufrin, I gain 5,000 credits. Nice. credits. Okay, so that was delivering my cargo. Then I can do a market action. Okay. So I am going to spend 2,000 credits on the stolen goods. And, oh, I have to take these to the other side of the board. Maybe I don't. Maybe I bottom this and flip a different one. Mm, it's just regular Mon Calmari, just kind of in the middle. That's fine. I guess we will. So I didn't actually spend that. I will. I'll just buy it. It's fine. 1,000 credits. Okay. Flip over. So, uh, that is the Hut Cartel moving three. Hut's moving three. One, two, three. Okay. And then I can do an encounter. Mm -hmm. 
And let's flip that white token over there, the white contact token. It is card Ooh. 22. It's the W1LE. one L E. Yeah, it's the droid guy. I remember that guy. I remember him being pretty good. Yeah. So that is this guy. So I'm going to resolve this card. If your Lando covers and oh look at that, you may gain the crew below. Look at that. That nice. was just perfect. All right. It's like we planned it. All right. So the token and that card just come here. So the crew goes technically in my crew slot here, just, but I'm just going to put it on top yeah, because there you go. that just way I can see it. So his ability, when I perform a market action, oh, I'm sorry, I can perform a market action even if I'm not on a planet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Okay. And the, one of the cool things about this game is, like, if uh, one of the players, like, has a crew that you want, or you have, like, a bounty for them, mm -hmm. specifically a bounty, yeah. you can, I can actually, like... Try Track to me land and... on the same space as mm -hmm. Lando and then try to take the crew from her. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yep. All right. So it's my turn. Yep. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to camp out because I have a green now that I want to see. Oh, I know what that green is. You do. Hmm. But you might want to heal. I might want to camp out to heal a turn. Um well, I could always... I have two contacts I could potentially look at. So I'm going to move. Okay. To Moncal. Yeah. Mon Calamari. And then I'm going to use an action to look at this contact. Okay. That's the Boba Fett action. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to... We're looking for something to help me win more. Um... Once per ship, can, you may re-roll any number of your blank dice. Oh, this actually seems kind of good. But I'm looking for a gun or something. Um, quad laser. Also seems good. It's an extra gun. Um, hmm. I might just take this bounty. It's free. It's Saw Gerrera. It's probably pretty hard, but... And Imperials move three. One, two, three. Okay. And so now I'm here, and I'm on Mon Call, which is... Jobs and movement. All right, let's do that. The engineer officers offer to modify your hyperdrive with some military-grade tech. You may spend a 1,000 to gain the mod below. Hmm. Cool. Uh, the mod is you may discard this card during your planning step to gain plus four movement until the end of the turn. Okay. I don't have any mods. So, uh, yeah. We'll purchase this mod. And... Just put it on top of your... Yeah. Just put it right there. Yep. Okay. And so that cost me 1000 Okay, and I, I'm done. That was my encounter step. Mm hmm So, let's see. One, what was two. this again? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just come back to Lethal here. Okay. And I will then go to my action step. I have no bounties or cargo to deliver. I am going to bottom this mod. Reveal a new one. It is an armored vest. Hmm. And then I'm going to... I will just pick up another job. Okay. Uh, 
Huts move four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Encounter. Encounter. Thaw. Yeah. The Empire looks after its citizens, the Imperial officer says as he assesses the damage. Recover all damage from your character and ship. If your character and ship did not have any damage, instead gain 2,000 credits. Nice. Cool. Cool. All right. So that's done. So my turn. Um, I'm going to recover all damage, so I'm not going to move. I am going to look at this token with Boba Fett's action. Okay. And then I am going to do the market. And I don't want this armored vest. So I'm put that on the bottom. And there's a hyperdrive, which I can only have one mod. It's probably not worth me spending any money on that. I could pick up some could pick up some cargo here. Mm -hmm. Destination Tokodana, so that's not bad. Cost me a thousand. And I can carry some cargo, so let's do that. So we're cost gonna carry Yeah, we're gonna carry some cost me one thousand to carry some cargo. Okay. Flip this over. And ooh, uh, ro this is uh Coaxium. And it has to go to Ryloth. Nice. And Imperials are moving four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I could... Hmm. Let's try to resolve this contact. Okay. Bib Fortuna. So number, number three. three. Maybe I can get a crew out of them. Okay. Oh, he's definitely not a crew. Dawana Wanga, he asks as he steps from the shadows. This is your chance to gain the ear of Jabba the Hutt. You may spend 2,000 credits, choose a player, make that player gain or lose one Hutt reputation. After resolving this card, move Bib Fortuna's token to an empty contact space on Tatooine. If there is not an empty contact space, exchange this token with a contact on Tatooine. Okay. So, I've already got Hut Reputation. I don't know if it's worth spending 2000 to make you lose it. It's up to you. I'm so, positive, so it would just make me neutral. Right. If it would make me negative, that might be a little bit better. Yeah. This. Yeah, so, uh, but I am going to... Given that you have, like, I am going neither to of move us have him, very though. much money. Yeah, switch it for the yellow. I'm for assuming. The, yeah, let's do it for the yellow. Mm -hmm. So you have a new yellow to look at. And then this is just gonna go back in the deck. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. Okay, I am going to move to Mon Calamari. Mm -hmm. I am going to deliver some cargo. I gain a rebel reputation. Man. And I gain five thousand credits. You are all reputationed up. Yeah, aside from the syndicate. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to. Hmm. Got some money, might be able I to know. buy a ship. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might bottom this aggressor. Oh, still another fifteen hundred. Fifteen thousand one. There are ten thousand ones, so that's what I was looking for. Yep. There's other cheap ones. There are. Well, it's either 10,000. I don't think... Is yeah, that one the, that's five? Yeah, there's the one that's like... You get the one that's all damaged. You get any that, ship. Oh, yeah. That's still 10,000. Yeah. Any ship that's damaged. Yep. And I will instead... I have to take that to Ryloth. Where's Ryloth? Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One short. One short... But I can still mark it in between because yep. I have my little guy. So that's fine. I'll just buy this. That is true. Slide that under there. And Syndicate is moving four. Okay. Okay. First time. 
So we're here, so one, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. And then encounters. So we're on Mount Kalmari. You may take the Rubble Favor job card from another player or the market deck if you take it from the deck, shuffle the deck. The what? Rubble Favor job. Oh, okay. Let's see what that does. Oh, I'm in the wrong deck. That'll do it. Rebel favor. Oh, it just needs knowledge. And it's at Lothal. Yeah, I'll take that. So I will discard one of these. Put that on the bottom. If I shuffle a deck, I think I still keep this on top, right? Because mm -hmm. it didn't tell me to shuffle. So put this on the bottom. Oh, this no, is if it's top. telling you to shuffle, you shuffle the whole thing, and then you flip a new card. Okay. I think. I'm mm, not really whatever. sure. That's what we'll do. We'll just shuffle the whole thing, and then flip a new card on top. Okay. No, oh, it's the same one. Hilarious. Okay. Did a bad job shuffling, I guess. And that was the whole card. Oops. Okay. Alrighty, so it's my turn, and... Hmm. I don't know if I want to stay there. I'm still looking for... I'm going to move. And I'm going to go... Uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, but I I can only move five. So one hmm. Where are you trying to get? I wanted to get here because there's two yellow contacts. Oh yeah. Well that's or that's the other option is to go one one, two, three. But then I would have to stop here because of this guy. Mm hmm Yeah, that's fine. If I go to, through Kessel I would have to stop in the maelstrom. Hmm. Um, interesting. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't make it. kind of don't have a lot of good options. I guess I could explore that side of the board, but I got Tokadana, so I'm going to move. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And I have to uh, skip market, so I'll just take a Nava point. Mm -hmm. And it says no patrol. If you have positive Imperial, which I don't have, if you have negative or neutral. Here in the middle of nowhere, you find a makeshift Imperial checkpoint. Better get your bribes ready. Test piloting. If you fail, lose 2,000 credits unless you discard one of your cargo. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Boba Fett does not have piloting. All right. So we're testing piloting. So, so here's how you do a test. Perfect example. Yeah, a test is just you roll two dice. Correct. Always. And then based on your skill, which I don't have any, so only so a critical. So he has to only get a critical, which he only he has a hit and a focus. So he he failed that check. Sure did. So I lose uh, two thousand credits. Or you discard that cargo. I don't know if you care about it. You only spent one thousand credits on it. But it'll get me six thousand. Yeah, but it'll also take you two more turns to get there. I'm going there anyways. Are you? Yeah. Well, I gotta search for my bounties. Okay. Well, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll lose 2,000. Your choice. Fine. Clear that out. Okay. So, this That's goes done. here. I'm done. Okay. My turn. I am going to move towards Ryloth. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, as far as I can get. However, because I have my handy little droid crew guy, I can still do market phase, even though I'm at a nav point. And I will bottom this mod, flip over a new one, and it is an ion cannon. I don't really care about that. So, hmm. I will instead swap out jobs. Okay. Rebels move three. Mm hmm. So, one, two, three. Yeah, that's faster. Mm hmm. And then I have to resolve a nav point card. No patrol, and it's a secret card, actually. Okay. So it's my turn. So I'm going to move. Um, I'm going to look at a contact with Boba Fett's ability. Okay. And then we are going to bury this card. Oh, here's a weapon. It's a dagger. Um, during ground combat, you may turn one of your focus results to a hit. If you have stealth or strength, gain a... Oh, all right. I'm going to take this as uh, fiber knife. Okay. So this costs 4000 And there is actually no patrol icon on this card that he's revealed, so we do not have to move any patrols. Nope. Okay. So, I got that, and then I'm going to resolve this other contact. I don't know what it is. Ooh. It's a, uh, it's a Fallen. He is card number 23. So, the Fallen, if you don't know, they're the, like, uh, Prince Shizor Syndicate mobster guys. 23, you said, right? Uh-huh. Zaiten... I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's a uh, Zaiten Maj, Moj. Not really sure. Yeah. Oh wow! I've never drawn this card before. So it says, um, "This opportunity benefits us both, but there will be a cost. You may lose one Syndicate reputation to either gain five thousand credits or take up to five thousand credits from a player that has more fame than you." I have less fame than you. I know, but I will lose Syndicate because 5,000 credits sounds hot. Okay. Cool. Okay, and then... And then you actually pull that token off because we've resolved him. Yep. Yep. All right. And... You're done. I'm done. Yep. My turn. So we're going to come to Ryloth. We are going to deliver... The Coaxium, which is just going to gain me 5,000 credits, and it would also gain me Imperial Reputation, but I already have Imperial Reputation, so nothing on that front. Man, now you're swimming in money. I know. So, I think for market... Time to upgrade to a ship. Yeah, I'll just buy this YV. 15,000? Mm-hmm. So, here's how... There you go. So you just get the wrenching ship card. And, and it replace. goes on the ship goal side. And this is uh, goes through the game box. Wow, you are... Yeah, that... I forgot, that ship's crazy. Yeah. Because it has good. all the crew members and everything. All the crew and three cargo slots, potentially. Yeah. And it moves seven. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not bad. It's not as good as the Falcon, but, you know, it's okay. It's still pretty good. Okay, and that was, so I purchased a card, so we'll flip a new one. Oh, there's the used one. And I'm going to, do I want to bottom anything? I don't think so. We're fine there. 
And on Ryloth, I could potentially buy ships or sell stuff. Neither of those sound super interesting to me, so I'm going to try and resolve this green token. Forlom. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay. Logic glitches turned a protocol droid into a bounty hunter, eager for new opportunities. You may spend 3,000 credits to gain the crew below and discard Forlum's token. Reduce this by 1,000 credits for each bounty you have, and he would give me an additional, uh, additional die during combat. Screw it. We'll buy it. We're poor, but... We'll buy it. My ship goal, by the way, when you recover at least one damage from this ship, spend 7,000 credits and gain, gain a fame. So I have to take damage on my ship and recover it. That's weird. Okay. Alright, so it's my turn. I'm going to move and I need to draw the Maelstrom card, mm -hmm. which is here. And... Test piloting. If you pass, take an additional turn. If you fail, move one space and your ship suffers two damage. So I have to test piloting again? Kind of annoying. Roll it up. Nope. Just hits. Okay. So this goes to the bottom. I get to move one space. And your ship, and then takes, ship two takes two damage. Yep. So that... ship damage is separate from personal damage. Yep. Okay. And unfortunately that ends my turn. Yep. So, I will, where's it, where am I going to tell, oh, it's all the way over there, I don't that I want to go that far, let's just start moving back this way, can I get to Lithal, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, I cannot, but that's fine. And I'm positive with Imperials, so I can go through them. Oh, I won't anyway, but I am also positive with that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. End up at Mount Calmari. You have seven speed? Jeez. Yeah. The new ship. The new ship. Yeah, nice. And I will... Mark it... I will bot on this guy. Vibro X. And it's fine, I can buy this for a thousand credits. Okay. And Syndicate moves three. So that's these guys. They're going to one, two, three. Okay. And you're done? Yep. So I'm going to move uh, one, two. I'm going to the Ring of Kafreen, I believe. Oh, Takadana. Sorry. I was here. You would be able to get there. One, two, three, four. Hmm. You were one forward. Oh, that's right. I was one forward. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think that's the said Takadana. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, gain 6,000 credits. If you are a droid, discard this card to recover all damage from your character. If you're not a droid. Not a droid. Oh, gotcha. All right. So, that's done. So, get your 6,000 credits. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to look at a contact while I'm here. Okay. And then I'll resolve this contact. Maz. Maz Kanata, 19.
this card. Uh, okay. They call her the Smuggler Queen of Takadana. It seems there's nothing Maz does not know. If you have negative or neutral Imperial reputation, you may spend 4,000 to gain the crew below. If you do not gain this crew, move Moscadana token to an empty contact space and Tokadana United Space Exchange. Hmm. She's already on Takadana, actually. Yeah. Uh, it looks like you can only get her if you have negative or neutral imperial reputation. Which you have. Hmm. 4,000. What are her skills? Influence and knowledge. Once per turn, after you roll dice for a skill test, you may re-roll one of your dice. Seems pretty good. That seems good. So if you have... I have negative or neutral. Yeah, and you've got the credits. Mm -hmm. I will do it. Let's seems, get a crew. It seems pretty good, actually. All right, so we have a crew now. Yep. Just uh, slide this under here. Yeah, that's fine. Take up some space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I guess that's my turn. All right. I am going to. Oh, did I get a chance to mark it? I think I forget. Skip the whole market phase. Maybe you did. I, I think remember. I did. That's fine. Uh, a fibroax. Nope. Alright, I'm done. I'm not even going to buy anything, I don't think. Oh, actually, I'll take this. Just oh, wait, one. that's Forlom. Yeah. That's on your crew. It is mm. one of my crew. Do you want to do that for a stream, or do you want to ignore it? <laughs> not going to lie, it's one of the reasons I just chose to buy them, in case you wanted to see Let's that. Let's do it. Alright, so you're going to ditch, saw, pick up Forlom. Yep. Alright. Let's fight. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to move to Lethal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't move to Lethal. I'm going to get stopped by that syndicate. Yep. Uh, did you flip a new card? Because maybe that's not. relevant. Uh, nope. There's nothing there. Darn it. All right. So I'm stopping at the... I have to stop at this syndicate because, of course, it is the only patrol with which I do not have positive influence. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Well, I can still mark it, so because I have my special guy. So let's go ahead and buy. Oh, I have no money. I can't buy anything. Never mind. So we're not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I don't even really want to bottom anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. I Because my ship goal says I need to heal damage off of it, I think I'm just going to engage that patrol. Okay. Go for it. So it rolls three dice, and my ship also rolls three dice. Roll. I got three. Okay. Is it crit and two? And that, so you got three damage? Yeah. Yep. So clear it off, and it also rolls three. And it's going to hit me for one. So I will take that. So I take one damage on my ship. I kill the patrol. All patrols only have one damage. Yeah, well you just that hit are it required. once. You have to just hit so it once. So you get 5,000, but, but you lose a syndicate reputation. Correct. But and this is removed from the game. Yep. And then you flip the, the, next, the level. next level of patrol over, and you put it on the space. Correct. So this patrol now actually has five attack. And, and if you defeat it, you gain a fame. You get a fame instead. Mm -hmm. so now, there is a strategy behind being careful about killing these patrols. It's juicy to get the rewards, but if you're not careful, the last level of patrol, which is the fourth level, if you yeah, if you encounter him, he just, he is, defeat he just defeats you automatically. Yeah. So Sucks. it's a little little dangerous. you got to balance that edge. Okay. All right, clear that out. And it is your turn. All right, so I am just going to stay put. I'm going to take two thousand. Um, I am going to do market. And we're going to bury this. And ooh, a blaster rifle. Hmm, still not very exciting. Uh, what do we got over here? 
I don't have enough for a ship. Oh, that's not tr true. This is the used for sale guy. Oh. So you could pick one. How much does that cost, though? It depends on the ship you buy. Buy any ship sheet from the supply that costs more than your current ship, which is any of them. Place ship sheet on ship goal side as normal, and the ship suffers two, three damage. If the ship's card has not been removed from the game, search for the deck and remove it. Then shuffle this card back in the deck. So, I don't. I only have nine thousand. I don't think there's. Is any there anything ships for that, five? I don't think there's anything for five. I thought there was one for five. I thought the hawk was five, or is it ten? I think everything's at least ten. I don't know where it's. Oh, here we go. It says in the top corner here. Yep. Oh yeah, there is the hawk for five thousand. And it's worth noting when you're buying ships, you trade in your current ship when you're buying a new one. So the starting ships have no value, but when he chooses to upgrade from the hawk, he gets a five thousand credit. Credit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade. Yeah. And you don't lose any of the things you bought, any nope. mods. They just get cycled in. So you're buying the hawk, so I'm gonna pull that card out. This will get shuffled in. And what is this? This is a mod. So I can only have one mod. I still have this damage on my ship. Yep. Well, no, you have three damage now because that's how much. That's the used ship. Oh, right, thing. right. Damage actually will come off because mm -hmm. you bought a new ship. But the used ship for sale thing specifically says your ship has to suffer three damage. Um, I don't know if I started on the right side here. You did not. You have to start on the ship goal side. All right. And what is your ship goal? Ship goal action. If you have a mod, spend 7,000 credits to gain one fame and flip this over. Cool. Which I have a mod. Yeah, so, so at will you can yeah, just gotta get spend 7,000 credits and flip over. Just got to get 7,000 credits. Yeah, it's not that hard. You've yeah. already got three, four. All right. So there's that. Okay. And then since I bought it, nothing happens there. And then we go to uh, action. Um... That doesn't help me. Uh, I guess I will. I'm going to resolve. I'm going to. Oh! I, I shouldn't have bought a ship. I made a mistake. Why? It's okay. Um, I am going to do this. Tokadana. You may spend 2,000 to create the crew below. You have two extra crew slots, so. Yeah. Who is it? It is a code breaker. When you move into a patrol space, you do not have to end your movement. Mm. If you have neutral reputation with that patrol, That's and, cool. and he gives you tech, so yeah, it might be worth yeah, it. Yeah, I think I might. I think loading I might. up on crew isn't the worst thing, honestly, because especially when they have skills that you don't have. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that it just makes it easy for you to complete a job here. Yeah, and there. so I have another skill now. So I have tech influence. Knowledge, stealth, and tactics. Yeah. So, yeah. I've You've got a little bit of everything, though. It's kind of a lot for yeah, Boba Fett. it is a lot. Kind of strange, but yeah. that's all right. All right, I'm done. Okay. I am going to move to Lethal. Mm -hmm. And I am going to attempt to complete the Rebel Favor job. Destination Lethal, encounter... Oh, I guess I have to do the encounter last. Sorry. I do my action step first. So I'm going to purchase... Sorry. Yeah, I did want to do that. So I'm going to purchase these illegal goods. Okay. And, oh, smuggling compartment. Oh, that's a cargo thing? Apparently. I know. I, I thought it was a mod. <laughs> that's why I've been bottoming this car this deck the whole time looking for that. I thought it, I thought that's what you were doing too. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a it was I a didn't cargo know thing. it was a cargo. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> Gosh darn it. And of course now you're gonna bottom it, so I'm gonna have to go through that whole deck again. Oh one hundred percent. That's so mean. Gosh darn it. <laughs> this card is crazy with Lando. It's so good. All right, fine. <laughs> now I know the next time we play that I got to go through the cargo deck, not the mod deck. Well, because I remembered it was red, and it goes in a mod slot, so I figured it was the gear, gear. and mods. Ugh. Hilarious. Sad face. I'm so upset. All right, so I burnt, bought my thing, and I'm going to... I'm not going to buy anything. It's fine. All right. 
So now I'm going to do my job. So it says encounter test knowledge if you pass complete this job if I fail resolve card. So I have knowledge so I roll two dice so I need a hit or a critical to pass and I have a hit so I pass. When I my reward is gain one rep, rebel reputation which I have already and 5,000 credits and if you already had Rebel reputation, you also lose a rebel, an imperial reputation, and gain a fame. All right, that's fine. I'll do that. Then discard this card. Okay. All right, you're done? Yes, I am done. Okay. I am going to heal my ship, I think. So Ron and I both have are tied for one fame. Yeah, I'm going to heal my ship. I am going to use the market to purchase Boshek, and I am going to ditch Greedo because I have no clue where he is at. Bad luck trying to find Greedo. Flip this card over. And Imperial's move four. Yep. Oh, Imperial's four. Okay. One, two... Three, four. Okay. Then I'm going to resolve this contact, and it's Boshek. Oh, shocking. So I'm going to um, attack him. Okay. And Boshek has three dice. So I'll roll from you first. I have, th I have four dice. Mm hmm Four. Okay. Oh, no, three. I'm sorry. Three. That's math. Um, during ground combat, you may turn... One of your focus results to a hit. You don't have. Oh, you do have a focus. So yeah. So, I've so got, then it is four. That's four hits. Okay. And then so wipe that out. We'll uh, minus one of these, and Boshek rolls three. And he's he has got, three. He has three, but I had four. But you can cancel a critical. And I can cancel the critical. So, so just one. Yep. So you'll just take one. And then I will. And then uh, you will get him. Yep. And are you keeping him or are you marking him? Good question. Him? Um, deliver Boshek's token to Nalhutta. Nalhutta, I think, is in the middle. Yeah. That's pretty it's far. It's far from you, yeah. But it's the middle of the board. He's marked. All right. So we're getting rid We're just killing him. It is 6,000 credits and one fame. Okay. And you do have to choose when you pick him up. You either have to capture him or eliminate him. Well, he's eliminated. So... I'm going to gain 6,000. And a fame. I'm going to get a fame. And that's the second bounty reward. It is. So I'll put a second token here, which will complete my card. Yep. And I'll flip Boba over to the other side. Okay. Now, whenever I eliminate a bounty, uh, whenever, after you eliminate a contract for a bounty, Instead of capturing it, gain 5,000. So I basically just get, get the bonus. The of... bonus for killing guys instead yeah. of having to capture them. It's pretty awesome. And then I have. I guess I'm done. Yeah. And I'll be nice. Did you want to bottom that smuggling compartments? Uh Oh, yeah. Because you didn't bottom a card. I one hundred percent. Nah, you know I forgot. It's fine. I'll leave them. You sure? I'll leave them. It's fine. Okay. I'm being. I was being nice. I was gonna let you do it. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Now I get it. Okay. I am going to move one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move to Kessel. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and deliver. Oh, I can do this in any order, can't I? So the first thing I'm going to do is buy... Well, I guess it's not... I think it's only things that are in this slot, right? Yeah, you have to put it in a cargo slot. No, I know, but I guess it doesn't matter. It's any illegal cargo. Uh, let me see. Um, place this card in a cargo slot or mod. You can also have one cargo in the slot. Whenever you're rolling and die to deliver illegal cargo, you may turn a blank to a hit. Yep. Yep. 
So I'm going to do my market action first. I'm going to buy this first and slot it into a thing. Mm -hmm. Reveal a new card. And the rebels are going to move three. One, two, three. And now I can deliver my stolen goods to Kessel. So you roll one die and I have to get a hit. But because of my smuggling compartments, I can also turn a blank into a hit. So no critical. So and no, no critical, focus. no focus, and, and I can die. do a reroll if I need to on Lando. So gross. Roll. It's a hit. Okay, didn't even need my to get cute. Okay, so I gain seven thousand credits. Mm -hmm. And a fame. Two. And that goes on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And I delivered illegal goods, which is part of Lando's goals. So I mark a token there for that. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do something cool. Okay. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is, hmm. we didn't go here, um, maybe I'd do this just to do it, yeah, let's do it, let's have fun. All right, so we're going to discard this card, it's a mod, it says, uh, you may discard this card during your planning step to gain four speed until the end of turn. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to discard this, and it goes into the Mon Call Lethal deck. So I have a speed of 10. Lordy. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. And I'm going to fight for low, four Lom. For four Lom, okay. So basically what's happening is I'm landing on the same... Sp well, first I get a market action. So, market action is going to be, we're definitely going to take another another bounty. Flip that one up. Oh, Maz. Maz, there's the Maz bounty. You have Maz, yeah. I have Maz. I could turn her in. You could. If I pick that up, it's mm -hmm. hilarious. Um, okay, and then I think we're going to, we're just going to bury this card. Oh, and it is gain. Oh, I like that. I'll buy this. Oh, wait, I already bought something. I bought a I bought a bounty first. Yep. Okay, so we're good. And then now I have the option for an encounter. This time I'm going to. Um, Andrea has Forlam as a crew. Mm hmm So I can basically challenge her. She can either fight me. Yep. To protect Forlam. Yep. Or she I can just can, let him fight. She Forlam. could just let me have Forlam and then I fight Forlam. Yep. So how many dice do you roll? I roll four dice. But you can cancel I can cancel any one of your criticals or hits. Yeah. Cancel one of your opponent's hits. If you have tactics, you may instead cancel a Yeah, I can cancel a crit or a hit. Okay. And I can turn my focuses into hits. Okay. Hmm. So I also have four dice, but I obviously don't have all the cute stuff. But you know what? It's for fun. I'm going to fight you for him. Okay. So I'll roll four. Yep. One, two, three, four. Roll it up. So you'll get two. Two is really bad. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. And then roll for you. Roll for me. So I also have two right now. However, you can re I can re-roll one die. Still a mess. And then I'll cancel yours. So I still lose. So I take a damage. So uh, does that mean... You take two damage. I hit you for two. Yeah. And, does that mean... So does that mean you defeated him and you get him? Yep. All right. I defeated you, and you just give them to me. You're like, all right. 
So I don't need the card. I just need the token. Oh. Because he's eliminated. Fine. Goodbye. So I get um, elimination reward. So if you eliminate a contact for a bounty, instead of capturing it, gain 5,000. So I get... Wow, I get 13,000 credits and a fame. Jeez. He's dead. So that was cool. People got to see how you can interact with another player. Mm-hmm. And I'll give my fame. Yep. But was just going around just murking people. Yep. Okay. And well. That would be the counterface, so I'm done. Yep. With that being the case. So I'm going to choose to remain where I'm at. Okay. And I'm going to heal. So I'm going to heal smart. damage off of myself just and heal off of my ship. And I'm going to use my ship goal. So I'm going to spend 5,000, or I'm sorry, 7,000 credits and flip my sheet over. Nice. So on this side, oh, Nash stop up. When you would become defeated during a ship combat, roll a die. On a focus or a hit result, recover two damage from your ship instead. Interesting. Yeah, this definitely goes with Bosk. <laughs> this ship definitely goes with Bosk. Yep. Okay. So that was that. And then actions. So I'm going to pick up I'll pick up some stolen hyperfuel. Flip this over. Imperials move three. One, two, three. And I'm not going to bottom anything. And another action that I have is a secret card. So this is on you for the taking my four lum. <laughs> Discard this card. Choose a player in your space that has more fame than you. You gain one fame and that player loses a fame. Do I have more than you? I have three. I have two. You just gained a fame on the last thing. However, you can choose to make me lose a reputation of your choice. Okay, I'll make you lose uh, Rebel. Okay, so I'll be neutral Rebel. And this is a natural Actually, point Actually, no, card. no. I'm going to make you lose Imperial because you were neutral Imperial. Yep. Okay. Negative Imperial. Negative Imperial. You got it. All right. And put that on the bottom. All right. So it's that my turn? That was me getting back at you. No, uh, I have an encounter. Oh, okay. So I'm going to just draw a card for Kessel. Mm -hmm. If you have positive syndicate, which I don't, uh, you may spend 2,000 credits to gain one syndicate reputation. Sure, that's fine. I'm negative, so that's probably worth it. Go to middle. And I'm done. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to heal. I don't think I have any ship damage. Um, I'm going to um, mark it. I'm going to take Moscanata. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Chewbacca. So I'm trying to remember, do you still have to fight her even though she's your crew? Or do, can you just no, choose? No, I still have to now fight her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna fight You're Maz Kanata. So I need another die here. So that's for Maz. She's gonna roll. So she's got two, but you can cancel one. Yeah. So she's got one hit, and then I'm gonna remove one of these. And I'm gonna roll my four. Four. Psh. Annihilated. Annihilated. Goodbye, Maz. <laughs> <laughs> so killing my. So you still have to take a damage. Yeah, I take a damage, and I'm killing my own crew member. Cutthroat. It's Boba Fett, man. So, uh, and when I kill her, she gives me 5,002 fame, plus I get 5,000 for the bonus, so 10,002 fame. Dang. Snap. 10,002 fame. So let's go to, what was that, two? So I'm at four now. Yep. All right. And I'm done. Okay. I am going to move towards the ring of Kafreen 
So oh, I just you know need what? to stop I also want to just remind myself what this is. Okay. That's fine. So just push me to the maelstrom, please. And okay. we'll stop. Test piloting. If you pass, take an additional turn. If you fail, move a space. Discard one of your mods. If you don't have a mod, you ship shuffle. I feel like Lando Three has piloting, damage. doesn't he? She does not. Oh, he does have piloting. I'm sorry. You're right. So clear all this. So do a test. Oh, yeah. Hard pass. Okay, so then I get to turn. take an extra turn. Yep. And I'm trying to go to the Ring of Kafreen, which I'm sure I can get there with seven from there. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. So, yep, definitely get to the ring. Okay. And Delivering I will cargo. deliver some cargo. Mm -hmm. So I roll one die. Oops. And it's a focus, which is the only thing I don't want, I think. So I will re-roll that die. Blank. Perfect. I could turn a blank into a hit. On a hit, deliver this cargo. So 9,000 credits. Put one back. 10,000. And a fame. So I'm also at four fame. And that was my second illegal cargo. So that was Lando's goal. Nice. So he flips over. Action. If you're on a planet, you may spend a thousand credits to test influence. If you pass, gain a reputation with the planet's faction. Cool. Do you get anything for completing your personal goal? No. When, when mine, when I... I have a new ability. Mine said uh, gain a fame. I'm going to flip this card. You didn't say that on the, on the other side? The flip, oh, the flip maybe? Oh, maybe. Oh, it does. Gain a fame and flip this card. I'm sorry. You are right. So I'm a five. Okay. And what faction is the Ring of Kafreen? Pick up my token. Is there a faction? Nope. Okay. It would have a symbol. Mm. Okay. So I delivered this. And then let's pick up some more uh, illegal goods for 2,000 credits. And huts are going to move four. One, two, three, four. And encounter. I will. You may spend 4,000 credits to complete your personal goal or ship goal. All right. Well, I already completed both, so that does nothing. Can you put that on the bottom of the ring deck mm -hmm. right there, please? All right. You done? Yep. All right. So it's my turn. Um, first thing I'm going to do is... I guess I'm just going to... Apparently your phone just died. <laughs> is it not plugged in? It is. All right. Well, we'll see what happened there. All right. Um, I am going to... Do I want to move? Do I want to stay? What does Kessel give me? Illegal cargo, fame for reputation. Oh, okay. We'll uh, we'll stay here, and we will um, bury this ship. Oh, the Falcon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Yeah, your phone is just really low. Low on battery? Yeah. It's just not charging? I mean, it is. It's just consuming more power than... Your phone just must have been really low before we started stream, oh, okay. knowing you. All right, well, it is what it is. I will let it charge up a little bit, I guess. And then we will try to plug it back in. Okay. So I'll just let it sit here for a second. Uh, so 
uh, I am going to use an action to take an action look at this contact I guess okay all right so I knew what that was and then what other action did I want to do oh um, I'm gonna spend 7,000 credits to flip my ship over okay and that will that will give me action if you have a mod Oh, I didn't have a mod, so I actually couldn't even do that. I lied. You, you sh oh, you discarded I, it. I discarded it. Yeah. That's fine. I'm, Never mind. <laughs> I'm actually going to just... Um, yeah, that's fine. You know what? I will buy this mod. Sure. Did you buy anything else during your turn? No. Okay. So, and I'll spend 10000 So, three for the mod, seven to flip it over. Okay. And this gets me a fame. Sure. And now I have a mod. So we'll go up to five fame. All right. Tied at five. Yep. And then I don't. I can now take an encounter. So I'll take one of these. And I'm in Kessel. If you have negative or neutral syndicate reputation. What you do? No one hauls illegal cargo through this sector without Pike approval. If you do not have any cargo, you may move one space. Otherwise, lose 3,000 credits and gain one syndicate reputation. Sweet. I'll move a space. All right. And I gain a syndicate. And I'm done. Nice. That was cool. Yeah. Okay. My turn. I am just going to move as far in this direction as I can get. Okay. And I can move seven. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And... It would put you here and stop you. Well, there's Imperial Yeah, it's and... Imperial and I'd have to fight it. So, yep. uh, we'll... So, this was six, right? Yeah, so where I'm going to do at six. six, seven instead. Okay. So, I can try Doesn't to matter, you still got to go through that space. I mean, at the moment, maybe, but. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> okay. And then I will mark it. Mm -hmm. By the Millennium Falcon. I could. I don't know. Your ship costs 15 and you yeah, have 5. Yeah. I don't know that it really is going to, other than getting a new ship goal, I don't know if it's really going to do anything. I actually lose a cargo slot. And you don't really need 3. Yeah. I guess that's true. Hmm. Except 2. Why not? It's more themey. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to trade in Houndstooth. So I would think I could probably just add this into my mod exactly. compartment here. Yep. and then. Yep, that's exactly how it works. Right, so put that over here and grab the Falcon. And put it on the ship goal side. Ship goal. If you either have two mods or one mod and Chewbacca crew, deliver a cargo to gain a fame and flip the sheet over. Okay, and I don't, did I spend the money? I don't think I did. Okay. Okay, so I bought a new ship. Put this over. And I'm going to just bottom this gear. Mm -hmm. Gear. Okay. Okay. And encounter on Lethal. You may lose a rebel reputation to gain 4,000 credits. Mm. Nah, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Done? Yep. All right, so I'm going to move. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, hold on. I was here. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, six. Moncal. And I'm going to look at this contact. Okay. And I am going to... I'm there. I'm looking at that contact. I'm going to go to market. Okay. I'm going to pick up a bounty for Chewbacca. Yep. And then flip this over. And, ooh. Who is it? It's that same guy again. Which guy? Zaitan Moj. That was the guy that... Uh, oh, that was the guy you had an encounter with. Yeah. He think, actually just stayed wherever you found him. I think I did his card, didn't I? You did, but if you're don't, if you not instructed, pull him off the board, he stays on the board. I think I was, because I have his token over here. So I think I just forgot to pull this card out. No, you didn't. You did hit. You did this. It oh, wh didn't. What did that say? It just says you can lose a syndicate reputation and get five thousand. I think so. He, I'm pretty sure he was yeah, there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was there too. All right. He's all, he's in an empty yellow, so I, he's either there or Takadana. But I, I was think pretty that sure was he Maz. was there. Yeah, yeah, so he's there. Okay, that's fine. And then um, I'm gonna resolve a contact. I'm gonna resolve this one, which is Chewbacca. Oh. And I'm gonna try to capture Chewbacca. You're gonna murk him. That's not nice. Yep. And oh, my phone's dead though. Oh yeah. Right. Well, I can try and pull it up. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, reload this. Okay. So, so. roll six for Chewbacca. Jeez. Yeah, One, six. Two, three, four, six. All right. Gonna hurt. Oh, not that bad. You can cancel the critical. I'll cancel the so crit. So just two. All right, so I'm taking two damage no matter what. Yep. And then I roll four back. I think we just lost the phone. Load that up again. Okay. All right. Roll. Oh, four. <laughs> All right. Chewbacca owned. Rex. Get wrecked. Okay. I'm eliminating him. No! I think. Deliver Chewbacca to Kafreen. Yep, he's being eliminated. And I get 13,000 and two fame. Lordy. Hello, money. Yeah, I mean, are you going to do something with that money? You're still flying a pretty bad ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, and then two fame. Yeah. So going five to seven. All right. Okay. Bounty hunting has been a good business. Yeah. Okay. I'm just taking everybody in cold, though. Yeah. <laughs> cold or warm? Cold. Okay. So I'm going to move... I think I'm going to get stopped no matter what No matter I do, what you do, that's why I thought you should have just stopped right? last turn. Yep. Uh, this was, I didn't buy anything, yeah, so no. Yeah, okay. So, I don't really have a choice. Oh, actually, I did buy something, so I bought Chewbacca, so this syndicate should have moved four. The syndicate? Yeah, the Which yellow. is that one, which I don't care about, of course. Two, three, four. Sad face. All right, so I'm going to move here, and I get stopped, mm -hmm. and I have to fight the Imperial one because I'm negative. Yep. It happens that two of them are on the same spot. Yep. And I can still mark it because I have my handy little droid. So is there anything I want? I think I wanted to try and see if I could get more another mod. I don't know if I can get anything... Oh, I can. 2,000 credits. Oh, that's actually handy. That's a, I think it's a targeting computer for Once ship combat. Once per ship combat, you can re-roll any number, any number of your blanks. Nice. Not that. So that's actually a good thing to get right now. Right now, yeah. Okay. And, oh, the Imperials are going to move. Okay. So I guess I don't have to engage with them. Well. Oh, no, I do, because they're, they're on my spot. Never mind. They're going to stay, they move to me, so. Yep. Yep. Okay, and that was that. 
So I have to engage that thing. So three dice. So three dice. And four dice for you. And four dice for me. I gotta reload. Sorry guys, next time we'll make sure that the phone is fully charged before we do this. Okay, so one, two, three. You just lost it again. Four for me. Uh, this thing is struggling. Okay. Ugh. What is going on? I think when you're moving the phone, the the jack might be uh, loose. Good lord. This program is having struggles right now. Okay, so okay. you rolling four? Yes. Alright. And I lost again. Okay, so that's my result? Yeah. Holy cow, wow. five? Yeah, obliterated. Obliterate that thing. And okay, how many and it's going to roll three, three back at me. Ooh, a four? Wow. Wow. All right, so you win barely. I mean, I barely win. But you take four damage I on your ship. I take four damage? Holy cow. It doesn't defeat you, though. No, just barely. Good lord. Wow. All right. That was a so hard I defeated earned 5,000 credits. Yeah. Good lord. And you lose an Imperial, which you can't which lose. Which I can't lose anymore. And yeah, I get 5,000 credits. Okay, and then okay. spawn a new Imperial ship. I did. Okay. All right, and that's it. Yep. And I'm going to turn it off. Sleep your phone again. Yep. All right, so then it's my turn, yep. and I want to move, obviously. So, let's move to Nalhada, I guess. Let's go here. Okay. Let's look at this contact. Okay. Let's... I know where that guy is, so I could always take him. That's true. Uh, but I think I want a better ship, so I'm not going to do that. That's fair. <laughs> um, so, Barry, whatever, what is that thing? It's the uh, Dr. It. Afra ship. What do we got now? Aggressor. 15,000. Mm. That's its stats. Yeah, what is it? Six speed. I already have six speed. It has more, more damage and more hull. Nah. Maybe I will. What's some jobs over here? This one is influence, tech, and strength. So I have stealth and tactics. I don't have influence. I do have tech. But influence is italicized, so we definitely don't want that. This one is influence, knowledge. So I'm not going to be able to do any of these jobs. All right, I guess we'll just take this guy. At least I know where he's at. Mm -hmm. And... Syndicate moves three. Syndicate moves three. Uh, one, two. Under me. Under you. Okay. And then... I guess I'll take a Nalhutta card. Nalhutta, if you have positive hut reputation, you're the hut's top choice for their latest bounty. You may gain one bounty of your choice from the market deck, then shuffle the deck. Cool. Very cool. And you can just get rid of Garen, Den. He's a, not a very good guy anyway. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of him, and I'm going to look through the market deck. Uh, this is the market deck for bounties? Yeah. Huh. Who are you looking for? Uh, Lobot? There isn't a bounty for Lobot. He's a starting card. Hmm. He's a starting bounty. Well, I could get Saw, I could get Hera. Hera's easier to kill than Saw. I don't know where she's at. 
Alright, we'll take Hera. Garandin goes back in the deck. Yep. Almost out of bounties. Oh, so sad for you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move. Uh, so I bought that, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to do something on Tatooine. What was I going to do on Tatooine? Ah, deliver some illegal cargo. And of course I need to die. Oh, it stayed up this time. Well, and I jinxed it. Evidently. Okay. Try to run this program again. Okay. And I lost it. <laughs> Immediately. Okay. And I lost it again. <laughs> Great. This program is very finicky. Yeah. We'll have to find a better solution. If anybody knows how to project your Android phone to your computer, let me know. Okay. Rolling a die. And success. I get 7,000 credits. And one fame. Okay. Six feet. So we delivered that. Oh, actually, I delivered a crew or a cargo so I can complete my ship goal. So let's do that first. I have to spend. Oh, I don't have to spend anything. I just had to deliver a cargo and have two mods. So flip over. And on this side, special modifications. Whenever you are rolling a die to deliver illegal cargo, you may change a, change a focus to a critical or a hit. Sweet. So I cannot fail to deliver illegal cargo now. Yeah. That's actually pretty great. So smuggling compartments on, uh, on the Falcon, on the Falcon is, is so good. So good. Okay. And that was that. So now I can do my market. That's Nalhuda, which I think is behind. Oh, no, I'm on Nalhuda. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm next to Nalhuda. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forgot what this was. I'm going to bottom this. I remember. Flip a new one. Oh, that's fine. I will buy this. 2,000 credits for some more illegal goods. Slap that under there. And I need to shuffle. Okay. You're done? No. You're no, still I'm not. Done. Now I draw a card for Tatooine. Uh, Imperials are moving three, which they're over here. One, two, three. Okay, and Tatooine. Secretly look at one contact on any planet. Okay. Let's see who's over here. Okay. All right, my turn. Yep. All right. One, two, three. And I am going to... Bury that card. This one? Yep. Looking for the fire spray, huh? Oh, you ship. I'll take it. What does it cost? Whatever the fire spray costs. Right. Assuming oh. that's what you're buying. I'm buying the fire spray. The fire spray is going to cost you 20 grand. Okay, and this thing cost me five, so fifteen. All right, ship goal, and so fifteen credits. 
Okay. And um, encounter. I'm gonna encounter this token. Okay. Oh. Fight Hera. Sure. She was on Tatooine, and we switched her with. Um, oh, with Bib. With Bib. Ah, oh, cool. All right. That's how I knew it was here because it was the green with the yellow token. Uh -huh. I just couldn't remember who, what, or if. And Hera rolls five, I think, right? Yeah, Hera rolls five, so... Rolling for Hera. Three. So but take... you can take that crit away, so two. Two. Oh, shoot, I'm actually damaged. Or one, I should say. No, it's still two, yeah. I'm stupid, I'm defeated. Oh, all right. You can still defeat her, though, I think, right? Or do you... Because I no. think you roll dice simultaneously. Yeah, but if you don't survive... You don't get it? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You okay. turn immediately in. All right, so I think when you get defeated, I think you also have to lose some money. Yep, I lose, uh, four, I believe it's 4,000. I think that sounds right. It might be three, but whatever. It's probably irrelevant at this point in the game. Okay, I'm done. Okay, and I will move to Kintonica. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will deliver some illegal goods, mm -hmm. and I cannot fail. So I get a fame. So I'm at seven and seven thousand credits. Mm -hmm. Put that on the bottom. And I will purchase these illegal goods for two thousand credits. Syndicate moves three. So one, two, three. That is spot here. Right. And that is all I have for Cantonica. So I did I did my market, so now I it's draw an encounter or a job. An encounter card. A bookie asks for your help taking bets on the next big race at the Canto Bite race racetrack. Choose a die result. Each other player may give you a thousand credits to also choose a die result. Then you roll a die. Each player that chose the result rolled gains credits based on their chosen result. So obviously a crit is the most. You would get 8,000 credits. A focus is 5,000 credits and a hit is 3,000 credits. Sure, I'll gamble. <laughs> so I'm going to spend a thousand credits on a... Are there hit. more focuses or hits? Hits. Hits. Okay, so I'll spend a thousand credits on a hit. Go for it. Do you want to do that? Sure. What do you want to choose? I'll just choose hits as well. Okay. Roll. Reroll. Got it. No, it's Failed. it's whatever the result is. Oh. So yeah. we each get so it. So we each get it. Oh nice. So we get three thousand? Yep. So net two thousand credits. Cool. Guess I should have bet on the crit critical though, since that's what I rolled. Hindsight. Didn't, couldn't fix it. Okay. All right. I'm done. All right. So my turn, I'm healing, obviously. Yeah. So I kind of forgot I was damaged. Yeah. You can remove from your ship, too, if you had any. Uh, nope. And then, um, mark it. Uh, I could buy a mod. You could. It's a laser. It gives me an extra gun in space. And then bury the luxury item. Okay. Okay. And then I Chromium am. Hull. I'm gonna try to fight her again. She gets five. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot. I could cancel one. You can cancel one crits, but it's she taking, still has two, so taking it'd be four, still be four. Which would defeat me. Yep. Ouch. Okay. Man, she's tough. Yeah. Well, you're, she's rolling hot. Yep. All right, and then you still lose money again. Yep. You want to double check the rule book for if it's three or four? Yeah, I'll check. But go ahead. Okay. I am moving to Ord Mantel. On Ord Mantel, I'm going to first deliver some stuff. So this gives me a syndicate reputation and 5,000 credits. 
It's 3,000. So okay, so you can one take one back. back. And also, markety things. I'm going to get this job. Imperials move three. One, two, no. Oh, all right. Sad face. And I am negative with them still, so I have to fight them because they moved to me. Go figure. Okay, well, I roll five. So I will roll this. And I think I can I can reroll blanks. I don't have any blanks, but I did roll pretty dang good. So I have five damage showing right now. And they also roll five dice. And so my ship is going to take... It's going to get defeated. All right. Do you have to take damage in excess? Or is it just once you get it's to... Just, I, think it's just, I right. think it's just once you... Once you hit it. Yep. Okay. Jerk. My turn? Yep. All right, I'm healing. And I don't, I don't defeat it, right? Cause correct, the yeah. same way I failed. Yep. Um. Yeah, you have to survive the encounter. Okay. All right. Um. I heal. I will. I'm gonna look at this luxury good here. Twenty thousand. I don't have twenty thousand. Um, I guess I'll take one of these. Cannot buy on Kessel. The cargo cost me two thousand. Okay, and I'm gonna fight her again. Okay. Try not to fail this time. All right. Only so two. Two, so and I'll remove one. one. So I'll take one damage. Yeah, that's way better. And then I'll remove one die, and then roll my four. All eyeballs. Uh. Can you change all eyeballs to kits, or only one? During your combat, you may turn one of your eyeballs. So I still... So you still fail. No, attacker wins ties. Do you? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. That's pretty funny. All right, so she's dead. Okay. Um, I'm going to gain 11,000 credits. Nice. And two fame. Dang. Okay. All right. And I'm done. Okay. I am going to come back... Let's see. I gotta go back to Tatooine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's fine. End up on Ryloth. And I'm gonna bottom this. And I'm fine. I'm not going to buy anything. Okay. Ryloth. You may deliver one of your cargo for its reward regardless of its destination. If it's illegal and you have positive rubble reputation, you can deliver it without rolling a die. Well, I can just deliver my cargo. All right. It's fine. So I get a fame and 7,000 credits. I'm at eight. Lots of money. So that goes on the bottom. And this is Ryloth. Okay. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. All right, one, this is what, Syndicate? No, Hut. 
cut, I'm positive, so I can go past them. Yep. Rebel, I can go past them. Yep. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, as far as I can go. Yep. And what is this thing? I can just make sure health. Okay. Yep. All right, that's fine. Um, bury the luxury. You, you oh, cannot. I cannot. Mm -hmm. Nav a point. Sorry. Uh, if you have neutral or positive imperial imperial data about imperial data about part of space suggests that there should be shortcut ahead. Move up to two spaces. Nice. All right. So I'm just going to stay where I'm at and heal my ship. That seems fair. And get some money. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No money because I healed. Yep. I lied. I'm going to bury this. Are you buying something? Yeah. All right. Sin uh, huts move three. Uh, one, two, three. All right. And. Ryloth. I'm already positive for the rebels. Okay. So I am all done with the markety thing. So I'm going to just draw another Ryloth encounter card. Secret card. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so I'm on Kessel. So I'm going to try to deliver illegal goods. Okay. Um, I just roll a die. Yep. You need a hit. It's not a hit. Okay. Does it, what's number does it say to resolve? Does oh. Fail? Uh, otherwise resolve card number one. Number one. I didn't realize he did that. You gotta put the cards back in order. I know. Card one. Here's a number one. Okay. Local security. If you have neutral reputation with a patrol in your space and your action step, otherwise resolve the section below that matches the result rolled for your cargo. You so roll the blank. I roll the blank. Test piloting. If you pass, deliver this cargo and end your turn. If you fail, lose one reputation with your planet's faction and end your turn. Yeah, you end your turn regardless. Oh, that's terrible. What are you doing? Test piloting. Oh, okay. That's, got, a, that's a critical. It is a critical. And you only did the one die. You're supposed to do two, but you got oh, it. Yeah. So you passed. Uh -huh. So I gain a reputation. Oh, test piloting. Deliver this cargo and end. Oh, so I deliver yeah. the cargo. Yep. So I get 7,000 and a fame. Yep. Okay. So this goes here. This goes away. Five, six, seven, fame. Okay. You're up. Okay. I'm at ten. Oh. Are we stopping? No. I'm going to 12. We're going to play 12? Sure. Okay. okay. So, I am going to move to Monkalmari. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. I can move through them. I'm positive. So I will just deliver some stuff for 5,000 credits. Let's bottom this. We all have money, so now we're going both d digging into the... Uh... Yeah. All right, and what is this? In Takadana. Mandalorian armor. That sounds good. Yeah. I'll let you buy it. I will just... It's actually... It's actually not a very good card. Knowledge, tactics, which I don't have, so I don't really want that. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. All right. All right. Encounter. Mm, I suppose I could just buy a vest just in case. I have so much money. 
I wonder if it's the program that's just not working. I, I hear it. It has to be connected on a USB, and I hear it like disconnecting and reconnecting. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the problem is. We'll have to troubleshoot it another time. That's fine. Are you so you're done? Are you doing no. a counter? I need to do an encounter. Sorry. Mon Calmari. Secret. Go ahead. Okay. So. Oh. Uh, I don't. I guess I'll heal my damage. And I will fight. Um. I will uh, mark Fights it. In. Uh, this Boba Fett armor just doesn't do me any good, really. Gain three armor. Okay. Um. You may reduce the bounty credits to zero to gain additional fame. Oh, Lando's cape. Well, you have two or three reputations, which I don't, gain additional fame. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is definitely better than this. So that cost a three thousand. Okay. One, two, three. Put this at the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to fight this dude. Number 23, he has five dice. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is his roll? Five, five. hits? Alright, cancel one. So four. Jeez. Which is going to defeat me. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> I, I guess I should have bought that armor. The armor would have gave me three more health. Oh, there you go. I would kept thinking that the bo- the jetpack's better than the armor. Just depends, I guess. Yeah, it just depends on the roll. All right, so I lose two thousand. Yep. I'm done. Okay. I am going to stay where I'm at and gain some more credits. Mm-hmm. I'm going to mark it, and you know what? I'm going to buy my cape, because I think it's fun. Go for it. I have so much money. I don't think you can trade stuff in, can you? Well, maybe you can, You can actually. for half credits. Half? All right, so I'll just take one back. Mm-hmm. So right now I have an, one additional fame, so I'd yep. be at nine. Yep. And nobody's moving anywhere. Oh, a jark table. Cool. And I'm going to. You already bought something, so you're just going to do an encounter. Yep. Well, I was just seeing if I wanted to bottom something, but I don't. So I'm actually going to use this card as one of my secrets. Action. Spend 3,000 credits to move directly to any space. If you have positive rebel reputation, you may do this for free. Okay. So I'm just going to move to Ord Mantel. Uh huh. That's a Mon Calmary card. Okay. And I'm going to fight this patrol. Okay. Although it's just going to spit out right on the exact same spot again. But you can move past it. I can move past it, but I wanted to try and actually do something on this planet. <laughs> but you have negative Imperial. But I'm negative Imperial. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to move to Naboo instead. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to try and do my thing. If you're on a planet, I guess this is still another action, I can spend a thousand credits to test influence, which I have, and if I pass, I gain an influence in that faction's reputation. So clear all this out. Roll one, two, roll. Pass. I actually don't think you can do that. You can only do actions during the action phase, and you're in the encounter phase. I'm not in the encounter phase. Yeah. Moving was an action. Didn't you use that card? Wasn't that an encounter card? It was an action card. Oh, okay. It was an action on a secret card. Ah, okay. Yep, so I'm still, I'm so still you good. Not, you haven't done it. So now I have neutral 
Imperial Reputation, which is good. And then I will now do an encounter for Naboo. Secret. Okay. All right, I'm going to heal. I actually get some cargo. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Bottom. Don't care about those. Uh, don't. Cargo? I guess I'll take some cargo. Take some cargo. This cost me a thousand. Alright, let's try fighting this guy. Oops, we don't want. Nope, evades have no purpose. <laughs> Five? Yeah. There you go, zero. Even better. Two. Two. Three. Three. Okay, so he's defeated. Mm hmm. And he gives me uh, 11,000 and two fang. Oh, so we're done. I win. You win. Go up to 12. Yep. Took me a little too long to get Lando's thing going. Well, um, bounty hunting, I'm realizing, yeah. is crazy because you get two fame for all the yellow ones. Mm -hmm. If you could kill the yellow ones, you just... I didn't you realize you got two for each of the either, yellow ones Me either, because we never could kill them. Yeah. It's usually so hard to kill them. Yeah. But I got this dagger and yeah. jetpack was kind of a nice little combo. Even though I still... You saw, even though... You were still getting I still got killed three, four times. Yeah. Yep. And Boba Fett being able to just eliminate everything was huge. Yeah. If I had to take everyone everywhere, it would have been a lot. Well, you can always eliminate people, but Boba Fett gets Double the, the money. benefit. Yeah, the benefit of delivering without having to deliver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun. It was fun. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this was uh, this is a great game. I mean, it's fun. My only thoughts on the game, honestly, is it loses a little bit of replay uh, value because these these cards. There's just not a lot of them. There's what? Some of them have 12, 15 yeah. cards. So if you, pl like you saw when we were playing, we didn't say anything, but like I knew she was searching for the smuggling compartment. I just didn't realize it was a cargo card and not a mod card. Right. So <laughs> what happens is you eventually learn all the cards. Yeah. And we it, haven't played this in a while, so right. I just forgot what category And it was. we played it a lot when it first came out. We did. Like, we played it a bunch, but then we learned all the cards and we yeah. kind of stopped playing it the as much. The other thing I will say is some of the characters are a lot stronger than yeah. the others. Lando and Boba are both pretty strong, so it's okay to play them together. Yeah, I think they're fine together. Um, but if you play someone that's really strong against someone that's not very strong, it's yeah. not even close. The, the characters aren't super balanced. Yeah. And I, there's just not a ton of characters IG88's to begin with pretty either. bad. Bosk yeah. is kind of bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're definitely right. The, some of the ships are a lot stronger. Like the Falcon is in crazy good. For delivering Falcon, illegal Falcon goods, with, it's great. Falcon, but if you're trying to do anything else, I mean, it's, it's still fine. good. It's got five attack, seven speed. I mean, that, that right, a but beast. so does this. It doesn't have five attack and seven speed. Well, I guess it doesn't have five nothing attack. else. I it's guess, clearly the else. best. Yeah. And when you flip it over, I think it gives you additional movement. No, it doesn't. Oh no, that's that's uh. That's Han. Han. Yeah. Han's pilot. Han's Han's card does that. Yeah, but uh, this is the probably the most I've ever bounty hunted ever in this game. Yeah. And I didn't realize that you got... I didn't realize you got two for yellows, because that, that definitely... A lot of these so yellows rolling five and six dice, we've never really killed up too many Yeah, in the because past. it's so hard. It's actually hard to get more than four dice yourself. As you saw, Ron, even with two pieces of gear, he was still only rolling four, four dice, dice. And he was fixing his rolls to be able to still win. Yeah. So it's very hard to beat those guys. We usually have stayed away from them. But mm -hmm. anyway, well, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to join us for similar content like this, we do... Star Wars games. We have a we play Star Wars TCG on Wednesdays, and then Saturdays is kind of our random game night. We've been doing an Imperial Assault campaign. We've been doing some other stuff as well. So feel free to follow us on Twitch, like, subscribe on YouTube. We do post all the replays there, and interact with us in any way you want. We're we're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, yeah, just regular go social just things. Google home base games. Uh, you can find any of our content through home base games either via links from our website. 
which also has strategy articles for different games that we play and like. So uh, check us out. Uh, we appreciate you spending your time, and uh, we're signing out. Have a good night, everybody.